Hello. Good morning. It's your Blue Archive Gacha Whale, beginner artist, self proclaimed, and your boy, Trosanyu. Welcome to my um, stream. For today, I'm going to draw. So, that, um, this will be like part one of like um, the art streams for this week. And it will be like a very art heavy um, week. Um, that's like comic. Um, I haven't like had much plans on like doing a schedule for this week. There was like the thought of um, having uh, something Blue Archive related there. Maybe like cutting read along, but um, I think like. At that moment, I didn't realize there was like something I could like include. But um, on the schedule, it looks like this for now, uh, with like three art streams in this week, nothing less than that. And um, yeah, now that we are here for today, I'm going to do a one draw challenge, uh, one draw. That is like a one hour um, art challenge. Where, um, you are like giving a subject and you are like you should like finish within the time span and f I decided to like draw Serika for today uh, from the archive since the anime adaption is going to be out in less than two weeks and um, why not drawing the characters that are featured in the animation adaption so um I don't really have much of a clue with like wrong here. I was like yesterday before I went to sleep, uh, prepare for the stream. Uh, yeah, Serika, maybe something cute, but after that, my, my uh, mind went like blank. But um, anyway, I w um, you can feel free to like watch along, you know, keep it in the background, look at by time by time while the one or time was like running maybe draw alongside me maybe work on your project you know whatever <laughs> it can be like a little bit of a race um <laughs> who's like getting to get finished first you know <laughs> uh, but yeah um i will keep the stream like about one hour long unless i want to include something more but that's like about the plan with it Uh, so then I will do a countdown on three, two, one, and go. Okay. The white color here. Uh, first of all, what I want to do the canvas here. 
ذكي للبتك So like to protect your eyes And this depending on like Yeah, I should like yeah I'm not really sure if I can do a collar within one hour back in the days I could Because I was like um in a thrill, but nowadays I can't really anymore But it can be like incredible what um professional artists can do with one hour and doesn't look so bad of course this can be like perfected i know like um how that maximum potential looks like but um it looks like already good enough and they did like um three different artworks colored and it looks like it's very good um even better what i can like do currently even if i like am able to finish the artwork you know with all um with all its coloration and rendering I was like watching um, some Wondogos from uh, Kanzarin's son, Kanzari Sese, um, as well. He's like, uh, re he's like really great cultured artist as well. It's mostly like Japanese artists I like following uh, in that kind of sense. Even though there's like language barrier, you, you can't like ask them questions really regarding like topics. I think like watching alone is like really great enough. And if there like happens, there like happens this time that you like follow um, some um, artists, like illustrators on the inside, and they give like some advice, it can be like a really um, good, you know. I don't really know much, um, I would like to say. I know something. But today I'm like tr deciding to trust Serika. I think she's like pretty cute. Like has all the... Um, it has like the the traits of an, of a tsundere and um, it's super moe, I would like to say. It might be like a little bit too cliche um, since it's like, I mean like a lot of titles do that, that they um, take homework from someone else and such, but for some reason Erika um, feels like she's just cute, you know. So why not try her? It's also like a lot of costumes, like a different, uh, a lot of alts in the game, outfits, how some people could like also see. It's like the new attire, so like, um, well she's like dressed as a Miko, when there's the swimsuit one, there's the one where she's at the Shiba Seki Ramen, um, part-time, part-timer. And there's a regular school uniform. Looks like a little bit similar to uh, a K on character. Um, I think Miyu, Miyu, how she's called. But she has like the cat ears. She has like um, the Abidos, um, Abidos school uniform. So this is like differentiating a little bit. It's overall more warm colors, even though it's like um, a fictional world. Um, still, like manages to make things like look slightly different. I was like thinking at first she was like generic character, but her ca but the way she's like written makes really up for it. The uh, writer really knows its stuff. Isaku-san sensei Man, I'm trying way too much chance Slows, um, this can slow a lot down in the progress of life Right Maybe I should like 
just the amount of how would it look like if I turn it without hand second hand here? There's not much um, in the pressed area, so I don't need to draw as much. But let me see. Here normally there's a little bit more. There's this. Look like that. Cat paws. Miko Miko Nyan Nyan. I think like the most enjoyable of um What's very enjoyable about Serica is like her reactions. It's like not the typical Tsundere. I don't know, not really. Know. It is typical, but the way she reacts is so cute. Even though you know like what's coming. My heart. <laughs> My heart. Angry cat can be like really satisfying to look at. Action wise. Just like sugar. <laughs> oh, who's little who's angry here? Who is a little angry cat? Boop 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 boop. So far she's like working with part-time, she gets like scammed sometimes <laughs> because she's like so... She's still like inexperienced and young, so she can um, fall into those traps. There were like some episodes with like the pyramid mid scheme where she got like almost scammed and then um, uh, our um, goo mates were like yeah, um, I think you got scammed, and she's like, "What?" Looks like super cute. Okay, this is like the initial sketch. Uh, the, gonna use a little bit of color to like differentiate it. Darker. Okay. Maybe like stronger blue. Make it a little bit better. And regarding the position. Don't want like to draw. I'm not. I don't have enough time to render like absolutely everything. The less space I have like to fill in, the better it is like speed wise. At the end, it's like important to like deliver a good art piece. Or like social media as well. And how it looks like I should like do something with this area. But let me draw her face for now. So I will do it like no um, special line arts. Where I don't, I'm not gonna redraw. So I need to like kind of nail it in the first try. Not really sure about the expression. Need to need to take some tests. So it's just like it's drawn. Hmm. 
can I be a, can I agree with that? Yeah, I think I can. I can. Yeah, hmm, doesn't look so bad. Even though the eyes are not symmetrical at all, like in shape, it works well. I don't feel any off balance. First try, you can't learn that. <laughs> okay. I can agree with that one. Maybe the eyes are a little bit too small. Make them a little bit bigger. It was just like a test run and worked out. The way her like expressions are like in anime and then like in game, pretty different, but still like enjoyable to watch. It's like more like over exaggerated in like the animation than like um the style of like visual novel, you know, where it's like a still image. And from like the trailers from the seven PVs. There was like one with Serica, um, mostly showcased. And then um, there's also one, uh, like from last week on Saturday. Where like the first six minutes of the anime were like shown. Maybe not the very first six uh, minutes, maybe there might be like a skip of a prologue. Um, where Sensei came like to Kivotos and uh, they met like Yuka, Susumi, Hasumi, Chinatsu, you know, like the tutorial kind of stage. Where they had like to stop the attack of uh, Wakamo. But I think like most likely that they will skip this part and focus on like um, Abidox. It was like stated um, before um, that the anime will like focus on volume 1. So they're probably gonna work with flashbacks. For example when like um, Shinatsu is going um, to meet Sensei that um, she recognizes um, Sensei. Be like yeah, oh you're, th um, you're that person. And then um, it's a little bit of a flashback here that um, they met each other before, that they worked with each other before. And when it comes like to meeting Trinity, the same case with like Susumi and Hasumi, for example, you can see like a lot of things coming.
think like with the current um, speed I have, it would probably like be a black and white. Not sure about colors. Maybe I can do only the eye colors, I guess, and then I'm gonna play a little bit around artistically. But let's see. <laughs> or probably it's like black and white. Black and white is like my strongest <laughs> kind of. It comes like to a more characterized art style. Kind of. You know where they look like more image size than like GB size. I look a little bit lazy um, nowadays, or rather than lazy, I have like not enough time to like draw something seriously. There are like other things I also want to do, but yeah, you know, I like slowing myself down in some kind of way. But um, for next month, I have like planned okay, draw a lot more, and then I can just focus on that, on, like my art quality, and uh, improving on that. Rather than like improving, I just can like draw more. Naturally, I will like improve when it comes to that. She has four ears, like the human ears and the cat ear. Maybe for some people it doesn't make sense, but... I think it has its charm. I personally like it when I can uh, like nibble on like human ears rather than like, um, <laughs> than, like cat ears. Less hair and everything. Nom nom nom. <laughs> okay. The cat ears are like always one thing I don't really understand. I just like copy from the reference um, when it comes um, to drawing those ears. It's like a triangle and like a shape, okay. And inside it's like circular, and then you add like some, um, some outstanding lines here and there. Like Naruto kind of um, hairstyle. So I think that's like the trick. <laughs> if you just like simplify it with like shapes um, that are like pretty stable, pretty fundamentally strong. Like we work like um, with the artists when they work like on different difficult kind of structures, they like simplify it like in breaking down like Simple shapes like um, triangles, squares, and like circles. Even when like I do the sketches alone, or like the characters, um, I just break it down with like um, circles first, then fill in the, the the empty spots. It helps like a lot. I think like the ears are a little bit small. Can like fix that later. Oh, actually, should I fix it now? No, let's make let's make it now. Sometimes in things like an oversize, it looks like <laughs> it has like a much more st stronger effect. There will be a lot of erasure to do. Normally, you should like um, work with those dirty lines and then do this and then throw draw over that. But um, I won't do that since I. I guess in one hour of time I won't have like enough time to do that. Maybe if I decide to uh, be like, okay, I'm not done in one hour, but I still want to finish that artwork and um, look, I have already like a lot of progress done and I just um, do the finishing touch and that's it. 
but it will not be one hour, maybe like two hours of us. That's like um, how long I take nowadays. But back then I could like do things in one hour. Just needs like a little bit more muscle memory, practice, or artworks done in a short amount of time. The drawing is pretty fun. Tanoshikatta. Hmm, I use a certain trick. Yeah, hello Blaze Blast 20. Go ahead. <laughs> Also welcome to the art stream. We got tr one hour challenge, one doro, how they call it in Japan. You um I basically draw within a given time span. Um artwork. What is your reaction to anime sensei? I like it. I like um, anime sensei. Even if there was like the case that um, it's like not too much in favor of my, um, also like always remember that the deaths are like saying um, whatever like all them are representation, it is our representation and not as the representation. It's mostly like um, with the designs, for example, like for the manga spin-offs, it's like uh, more of a, like imagination of what the artists are like thinking rather than like a representation of like um what's uh, from the devs kind of point of view and i must like say i like the sense ace design um currently i'm like working also on like um artwork on like another like sensei and um what anime sensei and it's like currently what i'm cooking but um but nowadays um i'm like focusing on like an art challenge here so I um, kind of want to do that to improve my like drawing speed. Yeah, I like the um, Problem Solver 68 Sensei too. Um, looks like a little bit more tired, but also like more calm and everything. Like more like an adult. And I think like the 
the kind of um, tired eyes, you know, the kind of fish eyes, how people call it. It's like maybe because um, they're working overtime, kind of, they like have like all nighters um, throughout all the days, and that's like why they look like this. But um, they still have like this um, calm, patient smile, you know, looking over the students. With the anime sensei, I don't, I think like it's also like understandable how they look like this. Um, since um, the students are like very young, they're like inexperienced, and um, if, um, if it comes like to interactions with each other, it might be better if um, the sensei doesn't look like an um, old man. Like Problem Solver 68 manga, a sensei is like more in the end of the 20s and anime sensei looks like at the beginning of the 20s. To say. But even like though the appearance is like different, at the core they're like the same. And also the voice. The voice is like the most important part. There was like only like a snippet in like the first six minutes. They like shown on the live stream. Some people already like clipped it out and did like English um, subtitles. But from what I heard, he looks like very close to my headcanon of Sensei's um, voice. So I think like the voice is really fitting, fitting of the sensei, especially when it comes like to serious situations. Um, I kind of like wonder how hard Sakata Shingo will go. Yeah, <laughs> it's like just appearance wise um, from level max and level one. But there's also like the game, in this game development department spin-off where Sensei is just like above chat and doesn't talk. That's like more comedy oriented, but so um, I guess that can be fine. <laughs> the only thing they can like change, I think. It's like the representation and like the pacing, but they can't like change the whole plot point, I guess. Since the story in the um, original is like very good, and I would like say um, it is like better than most anime um, paced adaptions than I ever saw. I think like Prikone was like a really good example on like um, how they did better than the main story, like the original story. I think like for a lot of players it was like not fun, not um, that um, big of a um, hit, the in-game story. But the story um, storytelling, the pacing they did like in the anime adaption, it looked took off and was like well received by the player base. About the anime? I don't know. So far as a next level player and story enjoyer, who also like consumes the Japanese media, but like not a global version. <laughs> um, so I know like about the YouTube shorts, I know like about our um, Planner channel. So like as um, as this kind of enjoyer of the Blue Archive um, contents, I can like say from the first 6 minutes it looks really good. So far they didn't disappoint in my eyes. There might be more stingy people out there, but I as an artist and um, the Archive story enjoyer, contents enjoyer. And like say, they did a decent job there. A lot of people, what I was like loving about 
the reactions of the JP and Kai Guy bros that um, they were more excited about Sensei's reveal than anything else. And there are so many memes out there. Do you think they would represent more talk and relationship stories? Hmm. I see what you're going for. <laughs> see what you're going for. We have like this um, young handsome face and um, sometimes in the Bond stories or well, let's say side stories um, Sensei's personality is over the place that they can be like a degenerate or, um, or switch back to the core personality or yeah, whatever um, fits like to the plotline For example in Iori's um, with Iori's side stories Sensei is like very teasing and very degenerate. Except for like for um, the live 2Ds. Um, they were like back to their original. Took their job like seriously. Could like read the room. It's like up to invitation, it's like really if it's like a hidden personality of Sensei or if, or if, if they are just playing around, you know, just fooling around and. Um, Teasing for the fun of, out of it. But even though it's like up to this interpretation, a lot of people go like, yeah, since it's degenerate and like make memes out of it. And um, I think that's a good thing to, um, to farm that. A lot of like good memes are like from those um, side stories. For example, if like you cast 100 um, kilogram. It's like a side story from like the Veritas group, a group story, where they like hack into the database and um, they wanted to change like things um, for a little bit, but then um, Aki, she did like a oopsie, published those um, edited kind of things, uh, also like with changing um, Yuka's weight, 100 kilogram, and then yeah, the meme was like born, <laughs> 100 kilogram files. It's like really good. It's like not uh, what the fanbase invented, it's like directly from like the source material and then they um, twisted it around and like um, enhanced it. In a sense. Yeah, I don't think they like include the Bond stories, uh, like the side stories. They like stated that the anime is like more focused on volume 1. So we didn't saw like for the six minute snippets, like the prologue. But I think they will do like some kind of flashback. When like Chinatsu meets Sensei. And be like, oh, you're that person. Yeah, I guess I can't do the colors. I'm slow. I think back in the days it took me not one hour, but 19 minutes to do like that and. I'm very delayed. Sorry if you may not get what I'm talking about, but it's fine. It's all about the pacing, right? Sometimes I um, be like silent for a few minutes on purpose. Just to like think about um, a good response. Or like to keep like the, um, a good pacing. But I do read what is like going on in chat. And if there's like something... Um, well yeah, I respond.
Good. We have it like that. A little bit millennium style. Like the uniform hanging loose. Gonna experiment a little bit. And it's like the learning experience, it's like more worth when like following the steps um, properly. Kinda want to learn something new. Maybe this will enhance it. Do you think they would... Um... It like depends. I mean... They like four shadowed Eden Treaty between Gehenna and Trinity. They talk about the prologue. Or like rather prologue, they talk about the disappearance of um, the general student council president. There was like a little bit of world building in the beginning, like just a little bit, but um, from the point of view of the Abydos students, but they mentioned like two different academies, you know? And this is like foreshadowing something. That like the next um, season might be about them. It's like always interesting to have like the point of view, not from the almighty um, storyteller, but like from the cast itself, you know, how um, their perception of the world is. And I think like they did that in the, um, like, what they like shown so far really well. I'm kind of curious about more. Like the little bit of details of like the living environment, you know, like how Hoshino's room looks like and um, when she's like in her room and like in her bed, she's not necessarily sleeping, just like resting, you know? Because like her halo is like still activated um, at the moment. Or like um, when Shioko is going out for a bike ride, she has like the bike stored inside her room and then like a one room apartment um, also. I like a lot of stuffs. Little bit of details and um it's for someone who is familiar with the characters, their um the stories, even though they haven't like checked it for a long time, like volume one was like two, three years ago, you know. It was it was still like recognizable. I'm like thinking about like revisiting volume one again before I like watch the anime. Like prologue in volume one. <laughs> That'd be like 40 episodes, 50 episodes. But I guess like for each volume, 2 hours, 3 hours sounds like reasonable. Something I could do. Hmm, maybe I changed something. Kinda want like long sleeves. 20 minutes, this is enough. You know, like far enough to like finish it early enough. Just like change some things I would like to change. There's like the winter version too from the PVs I remember. Overall, um, regarding anime adaption, they were like foreshadowing something in the beginning already. And if the anime gets like well received, then I'm sure they're gonna do more. I think there's just like, um, they're just like thinking ahead, you know, in time. And have like fun with their, uh, with the work. 
like providing like the best um, kind of um, product they can. But I keep like my expectations still low. And it can be like really easy to like um, mess up vision novel kind of storytellings. Normally it shouldn't be that difficult to make it like good, but it can be really easy to make it bad. We have like cases with like some gacha game anime adaptions. It's always better safe and sorry. Normally when you're like pretty no new in the um, anime adaption scenes of like new titles, normally like optimistic, but when you keep your expectations too high, you get like easily disappointed. You're like way too hopeful. After like too many setbacks, you get you go like less hopeful. And um, it's like really safe to do it like that. Not everybody can draw nowadays. Everybody can draw nowadays. Everybody can learn drawing. The internet has like a lot of useful resources for that. Back when I had, uh, didn't have access to them. I had to learn um, art in a long, winded and hard way. It took me like years to like... Um, to like get to a point where I was like personally satisfied with what I did. Before it was just like a daily grind and um, finding like my art style, trying to improve things bit by bit, learning things bit by bit. But nowadays it's like not really hard to do so. If you watch like, um, I have watched like um, PewDiePie's um, video on his art journey. It is like really recognizable on um, how fast you can become an artist who can draw today. But you have like to keep in mind that it's like a retired YouTube, more or less a retired YouTube content creator, so he has more time in the day. And um, maybe like can draw for 8 hours, practice for 8 hours in a day. But for people who have a job or are like busy with school with like the exams, they might have only like hours or like two hours in a day. So it might be like not in the 100 days where you become like someone who can draw. Maybe like in 200 days, maybe 300 days, you know. But the point is like, um, if you want to become a better someone who can draw, then you can do that nowadays. And much faster than me. It's like good to um, start off with something you enjoy drawing. For example, PewDiePie likes cute anime girls. I mean, everyone likes cute anime girls, right? And um, there's like a focus um, with that. Because like anime girls, um, you know, his explanation was like, I think like if you want to draw um, anime girls, you know, you want them to make like cute with like men's, it's like whatever, they can be like boy failures, you can make them look like average, but with girls you have freely to do your best and then, yeah, um, it's like um, where you start to like try hard. And when you like recognize uh, one day that they look good, then that's a win. Like how you can easily estimate it. For me the focus was like not something easily to estimate with like anime girls, it was like more the drive of becoming a manga artist, but like inspired um, back in the days from like Toriyama Sensei to how to do, do like something story driven, action driven and um, well I learned the hard way. <laughs> That's why I can like relate a lot um, with the Blue Archive character, um, Meryl, from the Red Winter Academy. 
she has like the same life experience as me but compared to me she has like still hopes and she's like still young i already had like a bad ending in this kind of area but if i think like about um when i'm like the sensei supervising her i would give my best to support her so that she doesn't experience the same thing as me and um our blue archive it's like basically that that um that um players recognize a lot in their past and they're like adults in like um the game it is like even though the game is like warm warm in a beautiful world and um it's like overall very clean happy there are like um things there out there that um that are like not going well for Ario squad for example um when i recall like a good one But it still like finds a way to get like a good ending. Real life is like a lot more depressing than you like think it is. As a young person you maybe not see it but if you grow like older, yeah. <laughs> so it's like kinda nice that Sensei tries as an adult to help them to get a better future. To make like the world a better place. A lot of people nowadays don't try the real world. I think um, when the player base grows, maybe the message gets like better across. And Clarkas is very popular. I want to learn to a point I can confidently post in Reddit. Hmm, Reddit is not a great place, I would say. <laughs> to like um <laughs> but maybe it's, it's my bias <laughs> i would like say regarding true dreams you can never read i would like say something like sensei is like really good to have but sometimes you the game of life you're dealt a bad starter hand right and this alone can make you give up people are able to do well without a good starter hand but it's like really mentally taxing and it requires a lot of input on your own and what and while that happens what's well, constantly trying to bring it down you know can be like really hard to keep up there. But having like a sentimental support like Sensei can be really huge, but not everyone has that. So especially in today's generation. But Blue Archive's giving a lot of hope, you know? When you are like the one who has lost hope, maybe you can help the younger generation. Because the future of our world lies in them. More or less, <laughs> kind of. I always saw that in like different um, kind of stories you know that the story that the f future lies like the younger generation for example like an avatar oh no ang the last airbender i think this kind of avatar i was like seeing a hey, um uncle iroh old man you are like super strong why don't you rescue the world but now i can like understand it really like lies in the younger generation everything Things like when you get older and are like privileged to do certain things, um, your stats are like changing. As a youngling, you have the energy, you have the time, but not the money. If you're an adult, you have the energy and money, but you don't have time. If you're an old man, you have you have like a lot of time, you have a lot of money, but you have no energy anymore, no drive. No motivational um nothing like you have no fuel left anymore so it really likes lies it's like better to like invest in the younger generation you know like pump your experience and support into them 
while they have all the energy, but you don't have anything. That's like why those master master pupil relationship exists, you know. I guess that's like where it stems from. Some of us are always thinking, hey, you're old man, your experience is like maxed out, why don't you carry? But I guess I still understand now. <laughs> Um, maybe for like for the younger generation they don't understand, but as I grow like older, I will also like understand. Ah, see, <laughs> that's why. And let's say interacting with the younger people is like pretty cool. Can be like pretty um, colorful um, experience. Maybe not cool. Can be annoying too. I like those kind of parts. A fucker more example. Or like, um, um, other like brats that needs correction. <laughs> but, um, overall, overall, it's very colorful. It's very nice. If you like, um, and do it, and you reach like a good ending. It's kind of way. But as part of Black Life is. And our world sensei, but oof and yeah. Hmm. This is like what can happen when you push people away. I kind of wonder what would happen if um. I kinda can't like imagine what would happen if Sensei doesn't support Izuna, for example. The girl is like very hopeful, very positive in life, but she got like a setback, you know, and then um, if this like stacks up, she might be not as positive anymore as today, and it would like break my heart. So if you feel like younger generations like anime girls, more or less, you know, um, even like the younger boys, for example, um, can like change a lot. It's like more a lot about your point of view and uh, viewpoints, the mindset, how you approach things. Like at the end, there are like not um, annoyances or like um, side characters. There are also like the main characters there who deserve support. I think like nowadays support characters are like pretty underrated, but they are like playing a biggest role. Um, see like what happens when Sensei is not around anymore, the other timeline. Of course, um, support characters don't have like... Um, they don't shine the brightest in the story itself, they don't shine the brightest, but still they do a lot. And even if they got like forgotten, um, they still get to be remembered. I hope they still get remembered. In this kind of sentiment, I kind of like love it when the player base, you know, when the JP bros, when the Kai Kai bros, um, they were like more excited about Sensei. Um, base reveal, appearance reveal, voice actor reveal, and like about the girls itself. I think like it really shows that the people love Sensei. Um, Isna Beska, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm not getting done here, but I might like finish that off stream. That means like a lot of process done, short amount of in this kind of amount of time. I don't need to add a lot more to um, to make it like look good.
Marius and Rabbit Squad are the people who get kicked out in society, yet Sensei still chooses to help. Let's say got that thick. Hmm. Can't imagine how many people would like give up on them. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I could like rush, but you should never rush an artist. Unless they want to, um, unless it's like off from their own motivation. Just let them cook. I like times where I like force myself to draw like fast, but then yeah, um, I can get to finish, but it will not look like very great at the end, um, or I might not be satisfied with that. Hmm. I think I need to look at it later, at a later point, to like decide on what I can improve. It doesn't look so bad, but I think when I only zoom into the face, this is like what I can submit. But when I look at everything else, maybe not. But I guess this is like the part I want to keep. Yeah. I'm gonna build up on this basis. It's all what I can keep. Re Maybe I can call out that part. Can't do much now. Well, tomorrow is still like another day um, where I also do like a art stream, like I want to draw. Maybe gonna keep that simpler. Mm, never rushing, never rush. Things need like good preparation uh, to get like done. It's not like fast food. <laughs> Doesn't look so bad if I like flip it around. I think like I did a um, decent job there. Um, the thing is like when artists are like flipping the canvas of their picture, it's like easier to like detect mistakes in that kind of way. When like something as appears like not symmetrical or like very off balance. I don't like care about, about much about the not symmetrical part, but it's like easier to like spot if like something is like not balanced. It's like helps with like um, get like a fresh look onto the whole image um, before you like move on. Like spot the mistakes earlier that are like ruining the balance. But yeah, the time is up, and I guess that's about it. But I will try to finish that um, off stream a little bit later. Um, let me see how this look like about the sketch. Not so bad, actually. This like adds some depth, but this is not so bad. I would say. The quite show. This is like the part I would keep. If I zoom out, it doesn't look so great. But um, I only keep this part. I'll upload that, and I work on that. It's not bad. Zelka looks cute. Save that. 
But before I work on Sterica, I want to finish that one first. Normally when I draw like um draw the um <laughs> the um line the sketches are always looking better than anything else. The sketch is like always looking better than anything else. I would like say. And when I start to like um draw over, it doesn't look like as refined, I would like say, but um yeah, <laughs> this is like how it is. I will try to attend your streams. I have a hard time drawing my mind, just can't see stuff. Hmm. Okay, first of all, thank you um, for your support. <laughs> I um, am looking forward to you coming over. And regarding um, the own struggles in like drawing. Um, this can be like normal. On people, they have um, a wild imagination like um a really small two box that's like flowing over but they want to um, bring all out of that but they're like not capable of like putting those ideas like out onto paper they can't like empty the tank onto something that just like keeps stacking just keeps like um being rent free in your mind, <laughs> kind of. Like having like some output like via drawing, it's always like a thing that can help. Also like in a psychological sense from what I heard like about um, your possessions and like stories I read. And I think there's like a lot of truth into in there. Like a lot of artists, they, um, they have like overall like happier life. But if you look at Japan, kind of, it's like unhealthy because it's like a job, kind of, and they work themselves um, to death. But if you keep it like a healthy um, schedule, you know, like Araki Sensei, uh, the Jojo artist, and I guess uh, we can like go a long way. You should like never rush yourself and just draw when you feel like it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, that was about the stream. I will do tomorrow a stream again. Um, if you want to see like um, about the t exact timing, I have like a stream schedule in the community tabs. I like upload from time to time. And also like I update my, I upload the art I've like done also there, what I did like on stream. Um, if I'm like managed to finish. But if you don't really necessarily use the YouTube community tab, I also have like an X account to uh, like upload things there. So um, feel free to check out um, things there. There's also like a better gallery. I'm like checking my past works. <laughs> if you would like to see the extension of like my art skills. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyways, I thank you guys, the gamers, for watching. Um, I wish you a nice rest of the day, evening, a good night, whatever time you are, and with that, I say bye bye.